When I used to play Fortnite competitive, as an IGL, I had great game sense. But when it came to fighting, compared to people with similar placements to me, I sucked, not gonna lie. So obviously, that was an issue for my success. But what if I told you that my teammates at the time were doing something that made the problem way worse than it was? And you watching this video might be doing the exact same thing to your teammate, making you guys place two times worse. So sometimes my teammate did a mix of these things, made snarky kind of rude comments when I mucked up in a fight, like what are you doing bro, why'd you do that? They would sigh and grunt while spectating me, they would say broad statements like you need to get better at fighting without any actual useful criticism, and obviously my brain didn't like hearing these things so it started to do something weird. It learnt that okay if I hold back, make less plays and just let my teammate do everything, therefore I won't make any more mistakes and I won't hear any more rude comments, which obviously worked in not hearing as many rude comments and satisfied my brain. But don't you see the problem here? Being more conserved making less plays and having a constricted playstyle in fights is the opposite of what you want. Being great at fighting means to have a lot of confidence in yourself taking risks and making plays, without even realizing my teammate was making me worse at fighting, when he wanted me to be better at fighting. This could also happen with other situations like an IGL calling his fragger stupid saying he makes bad decisions, or it could be a fragger telling the IGL that their rotates suck and they don't really trust them. Now the IGL is going to be less confident and more constrained when making decisions. So what's my advice? Yes, you need to give your teammates criticism, but you need to be careful with how you do it. For scrims, leave it for after each game, and for tournaments, leave it for after the whole tournament. Never during a game. And when you spectate your teammate, if anything, hype him up or just help him with decision if he asks for it. But mainly remain quiet. Don't even make any sounds like sighs or grunts because that has the same effect as words. After the game or tournament, you want to have a back and forth conversation about what your teammate did specifically wrong in the game. Don't criticize a skill overall like yo bro you need to work on your rotates that sucked. That doesn't help at all and will just make him more nervous when he needs to make a rotate. Have a civilized conversation like oh in this rotate I think we could have done this instead what do you think? I think in this fight we should have jumped on this guy together what do you think? I also think having a balance of constructive criticism and compliments is very important. And no saying nice job bro we're so good isn't gonna cut it. When you see your teammate do something genuinely good, point it out specifically like your rotate and second moving zone was so smart. Your aim was so good in that fight, also going behind them there was so smart. Stuff like this will actually improve their confidence. Cause let's be honest, when you hear nice, good job, your brain doesn't even acknowledge it. Now if your teammate does genuinely suck at fighting or a whole skill, don't tell them straight up you suck at this skill, get better. That doesn't help at all. Start improving this area as a duo. Your IGL sucks at fighting? Tell him, yo bro, I want to start playing an hour of realistic 1v1s against each other every day before scrims and try really hard on them, and so on. 